Number 10. Ulysses S. Grant was elected president at age 46, making him the youngest man elected up to that point. To this day, he still holds the title as fourth youngest man to ever serve as president. He was also exceptionally young when compared to most of the other great general presidents, such as Andrew Jackson, Zachary Taylor, and Dwight Eisenhower, who were all over 60 when they took office. Number 9. Grant was the last president to own a slave. When Grant was in his mid-30s and struggling to get by, his father-in-law gifted him a slave named William Jones. Grant owned Jones for only a few months before setting him free and never owned another slave. He became increasingly opposed to slavery over time, but wasn't so much as a young man. In one letter to a friend, he wrote, quote, I was never an abolitionist, not even what could be called anti-slavery. Number 8. Grant was the first two-term president in over 30 years. The last president to serve out two full terms had been Andrew Jackson, who finished his second term in 1837. Grant began his first term in 1869, 32 years later. Abraham Lincoln was elected to a second term in 1864, however, he was assassinated only a month into it. Not only did Grant win two terms, but he did so with large electoral margins both times. Number 7. Through his whole life, Grant was known for his good-hearted and compassionate nature. As a child, he would go on hunting trips with other boys, but refused to shoot anything. He also hated bullying and often defended smaller kids. Later, when he witnessed bullfighting in Mexico, he was so disgusted by the treatment of animals that he described the matadors as murderers. Even upon meeting the surrendering Confederate forces at Appomattox, he said he felt, quote, sad and depressed seeing his defeated foe. Number 6. Today, Grant's presidency is primarily remembered for the rampant corruption. Grant himself is almost never accused of being corrupt, but rather, historians point to his trusting nature, having allowed conniving politicians to get the best of him. Nevertheless, he's received praise for his willingness to defend the freedmen in the South and his effectiveness in doing so, such as overseeing the passage of the 14th Amendment and using military force to destroy the early Ku Klux Klan. Number 5. Grant was actually born with the name Hiram Ulysses Grant. Early in life, he dropped Hiram largely because he hated being teased for having the initials H-U-G, or hug. The S only became his middle initial because of a clerical error when he was applying for West Point Academy. Number 4. Grant's rival in the Civil War, Robert E. Lee, is often renowned as one of the greatest military generals of the Civil War and sometimes in United States history. Grant didn't think as highly of him, saying he feared Confederate generals such as Joe Johnston much more than Lee describing Lee as an overly conservative and cautious leader who benefited greatly from having a unified South behind him, rather than any special kind of genius. He also criticized his leadership style on a more personal level, calling him a headquarters general who was often inaccessible to his men. Number 3. Despite being America's second Republican president, Grant was initially opposed to the party. In 1856, he voted for Democrat James Buchanan over Republican John C. Fremont. He was worried the Republican position on slavery would lead to secession. Prior to the Civil War, Grant tended to vote Democrat, though he didn't vote down the party line, believing that a man's capability for any given office didn't depend on his political party. Number 2. Grant is featured on the $50 bill. The bill has been around since 1861, with early versions featuring either Alexander Hamilton, Benjamin Franklin, or Henry Clay. Grant's portrait was first used in 1913 and has remained on the bill ever since. Number 1. For the final year and a half of Grant's presidency, no former presidents were alive. Franklin Pierce died during his first term, and then Millard Fillmore and Andrew Johnson during his second. Only three other presidents share this distinction with Grant. 
George Washington, who had no predecessors, John Adams, as Washington died during his term, and in more recent years, Richard Nixon. For more videos like this, consider subscribing to the channel. To show your support and have your name featured in the credits, consider making a donation on Patreon of either 2 5 or $15 a month. Patreon link in the description below.